Today, in this video, we're going to be taking a fly around Southway in Plymouth. Roll the intros. Hello YouTubers and welcome back to Chums of Modelling. I'm Peter and this is Rolo. Um, today's video we are going to be taking a fly through the area of Southway in Plymouth. It is an area where I grew up uh, before I moved to London when I was 11. And I just thought I'd show you around and also there is a clip at the beginning of my daughter Ella controlling the drone. And also, somebody asked me in another video um, to combine the aerial footage from a drone and also, you know, using a radar control car. Well, for that subscriber, here's a chance to see some, and hopefully it won't be the last time that I try this. Hope you enjoy this video, guys. Not going to waffle on. We're going to get straight to the action. Hope you enjoy it, and we'll come back at the end. So as you can see we've already taken off as my daughter Ella is monitoring the drone and I've got the FTX DR8 out and about having a bit of a bash session on the loose gravel and uh, grass area. Uh, the place that we are actually in at the moment is uh, at the bottom of Pending Crescents in Southway and this is the South, uh, Plymouth Miniature Railway Society. Uh, if you're ever in the Plymouth area and Southway on a first or third Sunday of every month in the summer months, then please pop along to the Plymouth Miniature Steam Railway. Um, they would love to see you and you can take train rides there. Oh, and as you can see, I've just flipped it over onto its back. And yeah, you can take train rides, you can speak to them. They're very knowledgeable crew down there and they've got some beautiful locos as well. Find the trees, bring it back. See, even a 13 year old Cordella can fly one of these. Careful. You having fun with that? So we're now back to drone footage and I did try to see if I could go through this uh, little tunnel bridge section but unfortunately I had the drone in the wrong setting and it wouldn't let me do it. But you can clearly see that the, you know the Plymouth Peninsula Railway Society have really really made this area their home. It was starting to be built in the early 80s. Um, so I watched it as a kid being built. Uh, just in front of you there is the main line coming out of the station. And to the right is basically like the engine shed with a uh, traverser. So we're now flying over where the actual trains uh, stop at the station. Uh, a little uh, hut there which is there like uh, coffee shop and um, like a little their little museum. Just making sure that I wasn't being getting anybody else's children or person on camera. Uh, there was a mum and a little lad playing, uh, as you can see, just uh, down to the right-hand side. But they were okay with me flying the drone. And even a little boy was actually uh, quite excited of seeing the drone. Still got a lot of learning to do when it comes to flying the drone. Especially with the camera. You can see my daughter Ella there having a wander around. And I just basically decided to uh, put the drone on track. And as you can see, it's very slowly tracking her. You can see all the marks where my uh, FTX dr 8 has been flying around. Just 
And I think we're about ready to get up to our next location in a bit. And there's the other door to Bethany. She's chilling out on her phone as always, like all teenagers. And Ella's resumed control, I think, of the uh, drone. Or she's just monitoring it for me. It's possibly where I decided to uh, get me FTX DR8 out again. Yeah, it looks like I'm getting the DR8 out again. Going for a spin. Bethany's going for a wander around the uh, nature reserve. So now we are in a place called uh, Southway Dump. It's a big playing field and we call it the dump because years ago it's where everybody used to uh, throw all their fridge freezers when the council came round to pick them up. But now you can clearly see the views of the River Tavi, which is nearest, and the River Tamar, which is the furthest. And the River Tamar goes off to the left towards Plymouth Sound and the English Channel. Uh, to the left is Tamerton Folia, well, Tamerton Folia, and Southway as well. The housing estate literally just coming into your view on the left-hand side used to be my old school. So I'll give you a bit of a history on Southway. Um, in 1943, the decision was made to build the estate. Um, but obviously the war came around and had to be put on hold. But in 1954, building work began in the September. And in 1955, the first residents uh, moved into their properties. And in 1958, Southway Primary School, um, which is where those, house, those new houses are there, that was the first school to open. And that was actually my first ever infant and junior school and so I moved to Tamerton Vale Primary which was um, just to the left of the picture. The reason I moved schools was because it was a smaller school and all my friends went to the uh, second school. Um, you can clearly see there you've got beautiful views over Dartmoor that is actual Dartmoor so Southway is literally a five minute ten minute bike ride from Dartmoor itself You've got uh, Dunnett Road just below you and the bottom part of Southway. Uh, the secondary school called Southway Comprehensive was built and opened in 1962. And the second phase of construction for the estate, which is what you can see now, all these houses here, they were started to be built in 1968 and was completed in 1968 stroke 1969. Unfortunately, Plymouth, uh, sorry, uh, Southway Infant and Junior School and also Tamata Vale Primary School, both of my schools um, closed in the early 2010s um, and then they became one school which was um, as the actual uh, Plymouth uh, Southway dump as we call it, but it's, as you can see it's a massive playing field. Plenty of room there for uh, two football pitches, but only one is actually used. Unfortunately, in 2010, uh, Southway Comprehensive uh, School closed. It was knocked down and they rebuilt a new primary school, which uh, Southway Infant and Juniors and Tamata Vale Primary School both moved into. We're now looking over Bamfield Way, which is the road that I used to live in. And you can now see uh, Southway Woods and Southway Woods Park. And I used to live uh, on the far side of the woods where the road, Banfield Way Road bank, banks round to the right. So again, we can clearly see a lovely shot of the actual playing fields. And they've got a park over at the far end. And again, you can clearly see the River Tamar and the River Tavi. River Tavi comes down from Dartmoor and... Uh, flows into the River Tamar, which then flows into Plymouth Sound and then into the English Channel. And like I said, this is the new house estate. This used to be Southway Infants and Junior School. It's a crying shame because the nearest school now is quite a walk uh, for local residents uh, up towards the top of Southway. Uh, it looks like I'm just coming down now for possibly a battery change. So you can clearly see myself 
Ella in the middle and Bethany in the red on the right hand side. So we're all giving a wave to the camera. So again, you're into the left. And there was a young lad there playing football. Well, I was supposed to be playing football, but he was too interested in uh, me flying my drone. And then later on, I got the FTX DR8 on the uh, green. And it was a good, it's a good area to give your radio patrol cars a good run. So again, another view over the new housing estate, over Southway Woods. It's a very hilly terrain. It's built on top of a hill. Uh, Southway is and it's approximately about four to five miles from the city centre again you can clearly see beautiful views going over onto Dartmoor and again the River Tavi which goes up well flows down from uh, Dartmoor itself and on the uh, further away is the River Tamar where the River Tavi actually flows into. Now, the River Tamar and the River Tavi are actually uh, tidal rivers, so the tides do go in and out twice a daily. And we can clearly see now beautiful views over towards Tamerton and Tamerton Foliots and also out to uh, Plymouth City Centre area and towards the sea. It's a beautiful day to fly that day. A few clouds around, but they weren't that low. And it was great fun. And now you can clearly see how big Southway really is. It's quite a massive place. Um, and it's very hilly. Um, so when you're a kid and you had your mountain bike, you were pretty fit back in the 80s. And unfortunately, I moved to London. And unfortunately, that's where all my weight came from because I had no more hills to ride up and down. But this is where I grew up for 11 years of my life and had very, very happy childhood memories. Again, we're looking over towards Banfield Way and uh, where I used to live. And again, Southway was just to the left. And further on that is Whitley Woods. There's actually quite a, a funny story about Whitley Woods, which you can clearly see in front of you at the top of the screen now. Um, when we lived there, there was forever fires um, being started in Southway, in Whitley Woods. And when we moved away to London, all the fires stopped. And whenever we went down to Plymouth, my old next door neighbours knew that we were in town because, lo and behold, there was a fire in Whitley Woods. And uh, my old uh, neighbour, Terry, used to say to his wife, Rose, Peter, Jill and Derek are in town. How do you know that, Terry? Because there's a fire in Whitley Woods. And it was just, just coincidental. N neither myself or my dad were the arsonists, unfortunately. Uh, we're not like that. But you can clearly see it's a beautiful, beautiful area to live in. And to uh, be brought up in. It's a shame now they got rid of uh, Southway Infant Junior School and uh, Tamita Vale Primary School. Because they were both really, really good schools. It's a shame they got rid of the comprehensive school. The nearest uh, comprehensive now is the John Hunt School, which is based in Whitley. It's only a bus ride, about 10, 15 minute bus ride and a bit of a walk from the bus stop uh, to the school. But, you know, back in the day, you know, Southway had everything it needed. It's even got its own little shopping precinct. It's got um, a little down there up the top of the uh, up the top of Southway. So it's... Uh, a little area that did start to get run down um, back in the early 2000s. But in 2010, uh, Plymouth City Council decided that, right, come on, let's get Southway looking a lot nicer. So hence why Southway Infant and Junior School closed. Southway Comprehensive School closed. And if you can just see um, just to the left of the middle of the picture, that is actually Beechwood Primary School, and that used to be the site of the old Southway Comprehensive School. So the schools were all locally close together. Again, we're just, you know, looking at views over the beautiful uh, greens of Southway Dump, as we call it. As you can see, it's lovely and green, and nobody's dumping anything nowadays. I'm going to stop talking here, guys, and I'm going to put a bit of music on and just let you enjoy the views. Hope you've enjoyed the narration.
Hope you've all enjoyed that little video guys. Um, to the subscriber that asked me to combine the two, there you go, you've had your clip. And like I said, hopefully it won't be the last time that I do this. Um, just bear with me two seconds. Sorry, my little friend Rolo here wanted to get in on the action. If you have liked this video guys, please, as always, smash that like button down on the left hand side. And if you're a subscriber of mine, Great big thumbs up, thank you for staying with me and welcome to all the new subscribers that have joined me recently. It's much appreciated um, and I hope that you're enjoying the videos so far and I hope that you enjoy future content. Um, if you want to become a subscriber, thank you, uh, then you know how it works. All you have to do is click on the little subscribe button down on the right hand side, click on the little bell icon, select all and you'll get notified of all my videos. Uh, videos coming up soon to the channel. Um, I have made a little video um, of the workman uh, doing some road works with a tarmac machine, um, or sorry, a planer ripping up the old tarmac. Um, so that's quite an interesting little uh, video that I've got to put together. Um, hope you enjoyed the narration and the history in this video. Um, if you want to carry on watching videos from my channel, I'm not going to waffle on anymore. Uh, there should be a link coming up here and here. Until the next time, guys, look after yourselves, protect your loved ones, but above all, happy modelling, and bye-bye from Chelmsford Modelling, and bye-bye from Rolo. <laughs>